Welcome back, everybody. Now, this morning, we have been celebrating World Chocolate Day, as if we didn't need another excuse to <laughs> indulge in our favourite treat, without any guilt, of course. But why does it taste so good? Well, we've brought along dietitian Megan pence Clates, a good friend of ours, to tell us about the benefits of chocolate, because, yes, there are benefits. A very good morning to you, good morning, Megan. Megan. Good morning. It's lovely to be here. Uh, it's so good having you in the studio. Before we get into the nitty gritty of it, I, I love every single chocolate that you can get. And let me ask you, what is your favorite kind of uh, chocolate? Is it dark chocolate, milk, or I mean, there's so many. What's the top of your list? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I prefer a milk chocolate if I if I have to, you know, tell you which one I choose first. But if I'm here for the health benefits, it's going to be a little bit different. <laughs> I thought and it, so. You know, a lot of people feel like there's, there are not a lot of health benefits when it comes to chocolate, but you are here to prove us wrong this morning. What would you say is the most <laughs> helpful kind of chocolate, if that is something I could say, most helpful kind of chocolate? No, absolutely, and there is. So what it is, is your, uh, your darker your chocolate, the more cocoa solids it contains, which means it contains more antioxidants. Now, antioxidants, as we know, help to protect our body cells from free radicals, no breakdown, basically. And the antioxidants that we find in the, these uh, cocoa solids, which is your darker chocolate, is um, called polyphenols. And the specific ones that we find in these dark chocolates are called flavonols. So, yes, there is definitely some health benefits. I think I'm going to go fetch it now. Like, I'm like, do I take it out of my handbag now or later? So let me ask, this is an interesting topic because obviously chocolate has a few ingredients that might not apply to everybody's diet, right? So for people that are maybe have allergens or don't eat eggs and milk, can they still reap the benefits of chocolate and uh, while still using alternatives? Absolutely. What we just remember is that cocoa, as many people always joke, is actually a plant. So other plants, particularly your, your, your berries, for example, um, we find with uh, certain of our, our leafy green vegetables, they contain, in actual fact, all our plants contain uh, uh, antioxidants, but these ones that I've mentioned in particular contain your, your uh, flavonols. So they can be seen as an alternative. And, you, and you're correcting what you're saying. We mustn't lose sight of the fact that even though we have the uh, cocoa solids, there is also added fat very often, added sugar, um, and so it's a high calorie food. Now, I'm, I, I just have to say this. So, because Megan, the dietitian, said it comes from a plant, chocolate's basically like a salad, right? For sure. So now we, we're all good. <laughs> we can just eat salad. <laughs> 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 but also, I've been training quite often right now, and I usually, after work, I would grab for uh, grab a protein shake or just mm. a protein drink or anything high in protein. But I heard that it's advised to eat or drink chocolate after a workout. Is this true? Is this a myth? Please give us more insight with regards to this. No, you're actually right. There's studies that have been done on chocolate milk in particular. And what they found is the combination of the carbohydrate um, and the protein that you get in a chocolate milk is actually the correct ratio to help um, with muscle recovery post-workout. Oh, wow. Jamie's looking at me uh, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting a double chocolate <laughs> milk off the this. <laughs> but remember, quantities, quantity still makes a difference. So if you're going to be doing uh, like a 45-minute workout, you probably don't need that much chocolate milk versus, you know, going for maybe a three-hour uh, cycle or, or, or run. So we must also keep that, that in mind. Yeah. So after a good session in the mountains, maybe us hiking. We can, we can earn have, a we double can, Chocolate definitely. milk. <laughs> I love that. Now, listen, when we're, about <laughs> when we're talking about chocolate, obviously there's these, this mental association with it. It's just like makes us feel good. Uh, it's maybe a, a guilt, a pleasure or something of the sort. But how does chocolate actually better our mood? Well, it's actually the combination of um, the, the, the um, polyphenols together with a little bit of sugar that goes in in the fat. So it in increases some of our feel-good hormones, things like serotonin, et cetera. And that's really part of that mood-enhancing effect that we get from chocolate. Now, I would say a slab, but what is the ideal amount or quantity <laughs> when it comes to how much you should consume a day? 
So, so, you know, I actually went and did a bit of research on that, and it's an interesting question because it depends on what health benefit you're looking for. So uh, some of the, the latest studies are showing that around about 25 grams a day, particularly looking specifically at your dark chocolate, um, which tends to have more of the flavonols. But just remember that manufacturers do manufacture differently. So not all have the same amount of, of flavonols in them. And, and that's been shown to, for example, to be beneficial specifically to things like your blood pressure and reducing heart disease and, and cholesterol fighting, et cetera. So uh, looking at some of the others, it more or less works out to be the same if you're looking at um, you know, different benefits uh, so I would say you can look at your berries first. You can look at having more plants. So at least your five servings of fruit and vegetables a day must come first. And then you can incorporate into that your, your 25 grams. But don't lose sight of the fact that you also need to have it as part of a healthy lifestyle. No, definitely. All this talk has made me crave chocolate. I wish we had chocolate right now. Oh, okay, you know. Listen, guys. Uh, what? We're running out of Woo! space in the kitchen. Oh, well, George no, we just... Clooney appeared with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're not allowed to eat this. I'm just going to leave it here because we've run out of storage place space in the in the kitchen. So I'm just going to leave it there for safekeeping. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Sa Meg safe has already keeping. told us that this is a no, salad. No. We, we... <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm having. I'm definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Megan, thank you so much for schooling us, educating us on all the benefits of chocolate. You've given Jamie and I a reason to dig into this golden salad <laughs> from the plant source kingdom. But of course, you're carrying on all the chocolate magic and all the baking right here and you'll feel good. Thank you, Meg, so much for all the info. And let's carry on with the baking goodies. <laughs>